Hey there. Everyone, this is Cal playing a Planetfall season. Uh, it happened finally! The X story doesn't work anymore. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but yeah, Windows update happened last night. The X story don't work, so now I'm gonna be using OBS here, which I'm confident is gonna work. But if the image looks different, that might be why. I don't know. Hey there, one Cal playing a plumber for all season. Uh, yeah, we are here to say that we're here. <laughs> Good. By the way, uh, why Yoshi? You do not have to apologize because I'm I'm just kind of going through a level. It's fine. All Hallows Eve. It's Halloween. You do not have to apologize. Oh wow, this is not a house. This is a cactus. Those are different things. There are similarities, sure, but they are not the same thing. Uh, like, but for real though, like, it's fine. <laughs> um, I feel like... Oh, look at that cat. Does, does that hurt? It does hurt. Okay. What how do you do with that? Alright, we're gonna have a way to deal with the fire, I get the feeling, considering otherwise we can't even go there. Uh, yeah, like, don't, don't, don't apologize for me not struggling. It's fine. Like, I get the feeling, with the amount of work that you've put into this, very clearly, your goal is to grab a pretty... Oh, I was not supposed to kill that skill. I was supposed to use it to get here. I didn't need it, but <laughs> that's what I feel was supposed to happen. Like, I, I think you are, you are aiming for, you know, for kind of, whoops, uh, a pretty large audience. Like, you're trying to cast a wide net and getting a lot of eyeballs on your game. And, um, I feel like tailoring things to me is a bad idea for that purpose. So there's a house there we can go in. And also there's a place, like, here. Here being... Uh, in between the trees there, like, I don't know, but okay, you can go here and then does it continue? There's a big ghost. There's a big ghost. Oh, but it does stop here though. It does not go beyond this, so that's interesting. Is it? Yeah, it is interesting actually. Choices were made. I want to fly. All right, let me fly. Yeah! I did it. I flew. Flight was achieved. Let me go into... Whoa, this house is gigantic on the inside. <laughs> All right, so everything's kind of falling apart. That's what we want to see. The pumpkin burning with glee. I mean, they're smiling, and their mouths are moving in a way that suggests a chuckle. So I think they're doing fine. Check that out. Uh, that's right, I just bounced on that fool's head. Didn't even see it coming. It's pretty good. Pop this for a one-up. It's not really hidden, but it is green. Can't deny the greenness. Uh, oh, this is like wide and horizontal, so like I feel like you, you end up kind of like all over the place. Just kind of, because you know, you kind of, you got... Well, the game encourages exploration, like, from the start. What with the coins now, uh, that I know that they're actually like opening up things, access to things. Oh, is this a lower house I saw for a brief moment? Maybe. The houses are connected through the magic of Halloween! Thank you, Cosmos. Uh, all right, so here we are. So yeah, we are underneath the start. I recognize this spot. There's the end. It's kind of funny to have like the flag end, but it's just like it's in that room. It does not extend it beyond. Don't be ridiculous. Only ridiculous people are ridiculous. Kind of, you know, yeah. Well, I mean, you don't have to be fully committed to the concept of ridiculousness to become ridiculous in and of yourself. That feels like progress, and this feels like just loose change. Weird, but okay, we can do that. So once again, uh, the fire is in a way. Can I go like, whoosh, no. No. So, encountering money that I can't encounter. Well, I can encounter it. I encounter it a lot. Like, I can see it in front of my face. Welcome to the pumpkin picnic zone! Where everyone is on fire. Oh, that's a button. Is that the rain button? Gonna make it rain? No, it's alternate pumpkin! Fire. <laughs> that doesn't make a lot of sense. But that's really cool, because it changes everything. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a complete, like, recontextualization of the level. That's fun, look at that. So you can go here now, you can go like, get out of here, face face. 
It's like, welcome to the neighborhood, face face. It's just being mean, I don't know. And this is why this is made like that. It's so that we can return here. Now we're gonna do this backwards, oh man. Just kinda let myself drop everywhere. Look at that. So snug looking. Ooh, now we can go inside that house. I guess we couldn't go inside that house before and I forgot. Hell yeah, I forgot. You know it, I forgot. <laughs> hey, this house is now not in, in danger of being, oh. But here's the, oh, it's a fake. You faked me out. You put the fake curtains on. That's an illegal move. The curtains are here. Hey, ghost. You may die, your eyes open. I'm that nice. Me, <laughs> Prototype Zero, the hero. Ah, I love this. I love this. I love this level because, you know, he kind of sets up things you kind of don't know, then things work out, and it's real nice. It's real cool. I love it. I, I just, I love this game in general. Turns out, I feel like this is the perfect Mario experience after Better Fine for just like, no, I don't want to say how opposite they are, but just, they're just not even in the same country trying to do absolutely different things. A grazing mace! <laughs> That's a fun name. <laughs> okay. Now, castle levels have been a bit longer than regular ones. But yeah, there's the mace. It's it's grazing. I'm grazing it with my feet. That means I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna chew it thoroughly. Then spit it out and then re-chew it. Do that a couple of times. No, that's, that's not... No, don't do that. That's just weird. So they're pendulums. Hey! If you don't know to spin jump on a thing, see? If you're gonna tutorialize the concept of spin jumping on a maze, I understand that the hat, you know, it's not it's not made for me, and that's great. That's fantastic. So don't apologize. Even uh, you probably were not apologizing for real though, I, I, but I get it, but you know, I get it. I think I wanna go from that one to that one to make sure that well I can just do that too since I have a tail. Whoosh, here we go and whoosh again. Grab the flag, stuff that somewhere that no one can see it. That's right, inside my nostrils. No one can see there, in theory, I hope. So, where are these leaves from? Well, it's because there's like trees inside this building. I don't know what this building is, but it's it's a building with giant trees in it, you know, and they're just treeing it up. Look at the beautiful contrast of like the warm. But cool, relatively speaking. Warm but cool? Wow, cow, cow. Okay, the dark and like brickwork. And then you have this beautiful golden sun outside. With a wood. It's, it's, it's a work of art, visually. It looks fantastic. Um, yeah, people in places were wondering if this was possibly one of the most beautiful game on the Super Nintendo. Like out there with Chrono Trigger. And the uh, games of that ilk, and honestly, I haven't seen those games in a hot minute, but I feel like I want to agree, though. Like, it is just, it is beautiful. It is beautifully crafted, if anything. I'm gonna duck in this corner. And it's fun that, you know, it has the, the gameplay chops for it. Why am I doing an end-of-game review at the end? I don't know, but... Really, it's the art of the window there that leads outside, contrast to the inside, awakened a reason in me to comment on things, and it's just kind of—I I, kind of slipped into review mode for a hot second. I don't know why. Big jump, we'll check out all those swinging maces. They're blue, so you're sure to see them well. The contrast is strong. But, 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 notice how it doesn't look out, out of place, though. It still fits in with the scenery. No, that's what you want. You don't want too high a contrast. Alright, it's Boss of the Woods. Whoa, it's Big Charlie! Okay. Charlie Big! He's bigger. He's stronger. He's faster, too. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, now he changes clothes, so he's... What?! Oh, he's just invincible during this whole process. So, okay, so if he's wearing his red shirt, don't try to jump on him. It's not gonna work out the way you're hoping. And that's a hard lesson to learn. But, you know, there's a reason 
why they wear the clothes they do. All right, all right, okay, so here you have to wait it out. Watch out for those acorns are glowing. That's how you know they're strong in potassium. Ooh. Yeah, this is... Buddy, you're doing this? Why are you destroying all the trees? We kind of need those to stand on. Uh, uh, why did I do that? I did the wrong thing. I did the absolutely wrong thing. As soon as we was starting to throw things, my reflex, go on the ledge with him. But there's no room there. All right, well, you know what? This is gonna force me to do this without a tail, and that, that might be for the best. That might be for the best. Are you swallowing? Like, those, what, what were those gulp sounds? That was very strange. All right. No, uh, whoa, okay, yeah, because you're going in acorn mode. The mode of acorns is the mode with all the acorns. That yeah, You chuck all the acorns, and then you stop, and you do a big bop, and trees just kind of instantly go away. Vaporize tree. Vapor rub trees. Oh, okay. And yeah, you want to stay where it's safe. But you got to get ready to bop on his face. Yeah, go in here. The, these trees of similar sizes are what sticking. Here you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was too slow in switching there. I, I expect them to do like a few more laps, honestly. Well, now you, you fool! You idiot! You did not think this. Well, you want you were hoping my tree would would this you destroyed, but. Aw, uh, not enough for a one-up, buddy! I'm sorry! <laughs> Don't walk off, Mario! <laughs> Alright. That was pretty good. It's a cool boss! The, the boss fights in this game have been really rad, and that's just like a really rad, smart fight. It uh, does not overstay its welcome at all. I could have used, like, another phase or two, but again, that's me talking. And, uh, that's me talking. <laughs> Next time, we begin the last fourth of the game, ostensibly, and we are entering upon the grandiose, white, probably slippery world of winter. Like in real life, kinda. Give it some time. <laughs>